we were supposed to be dating. We were still dating until this plumber guy came along. Okay, I'm gonna leave that alone. Maxwell continued on with things that had the judge telling him to zip it. Children grieving their mother poured it all out in a Wayne County courtroom today. On Father's Day 2017, Latrice Morris Dorsey was getting dressed as she had plans to go to her sister's house for the holiday. But she did not make it because she was gunned down in her home with her four-year-old daughter watching. Her 14-year-old son was also at home and reported hearing arguing and then gunshots. Latrice's son told police he saw a black man running from the home moments after his mother was killed. The man drove off in a dark colored vehicle. Hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll be notified of new videos. The victim, Latrice Morris Dorsey. She was 42 years old and a mom of three children. She was a daughter and a sister. The suspect, Earl Thomas Lionel Maxwell was 38 years old. Maxwell is described as a black man, five feet, eight inches tall, and has a heavy build. He is bald, has a beard, and his teeth are stained yellow. Police said he frequently wears sunglasses and has a tattoo of the word Latrice written on his arm. The investigation, June 18, Father's Day, 2017. Medical officials were called to the scene and pronounced Latrice Morris Dorsey dead. The police investigation revealed that Latrice dated Earl Thomas Maxwell for four years before ending the relationship. According to Latrice's family, Earl was not taking the breakup well. He did not want her to move on without him. After ending the relationship with her ex-boyfriend Earl, Latrice had recently moved to her home on the west side of Detroit. She even changed her telephone number. Paul Dorsey, Latrice's estranged husband, told police that Earl called him at least 20 times because she had cut her phone off. So he was the only person Earl could get in touch with. The arrest. When he heard he was a person of interest, Earl had turned himself in to the Detroit Police Department. He was arrested and charged with first degree murder and a felony firearms violation. We were supposed to be dating. We were still dating until this plumber guy came along. Okay, I'm gonna leave that alone. Maxwell continued on with things that had the judge telling him to zip it until finally. But I was wrong. I was wrong and I'm sorry and ain't no way I can repay this. It's, it's between me and the Lord now. I just wanna let y'all know that I have repented with every bone in my body and uh, I can never take this back down here on this earth. And, uh, and, and I just wanna let y'all know that the Lord gave me a dream that she's with the Lord. And that's the only thing that kept me from, from, from killing myself. So his dream kept him from killing himself, but nothing kept him from killing her. That is a man that wants to judge to be lenient with him. He definitely could not control his emotions. You could see it in the court scene where he tries to blame the victim for leaving him and dating someone else. He forgot he was supposed to be remorseful at that time. Instead, he tried to justify what he did. He wanted to put the blame on her for dating someone else. The deputy and his attorney quickly shut that down. The trial. During the trial, Earl stated that he accidentally shot Latrice 10 times. However, Latrice's estranged husband, Paul Dorsey said, that two weeks before Latrice's death, he received disturbing phone calls from Earl who said, when I see your wife, I'm going to kill her. And the second time he called, he repeated that he was going to hurt her. Dorsey said after making the threat, Earl called back to recant it. Paul says he told Latrice about the phone calls. What did he say the first time you spoke? When I see your wife, I'm going to kill her. The second time he called, he reiterated that he was going to hurt her. That was two weeks before the murder on Avon. Testimony revealed Latrice may have been dating someone else, which upset Earl. Justin, Latrice's son, stood up in court and blamed Earl 
for his mother's death. The stepdaughter expressed her anger as well. In his statement claims that he accidentally shot Ms. Dorsey 10 times. He specifically indicates that he accidentally shot her in the back of the head, um, in, her, in her hands, um, throughout her body. My mom was, a, was the nicest person, the most caring person, and for you to take her out of my life like that hurts my heart so much. Earl Maxwell was sentenced to 25 to 50 years in prison for the murder of Latrice after he pled guilty to murder. The breakdown. So what we have here is a woman who ends a relationship with the man. She moves across town without giving him her address or her new telephone number. She has a new home and she starts dating again. The fact that she had to hide her address and change her telephone number says a lot. Despite all that, Earl made it his mission to hunt her down. If she was not his woman, he decided she would not be any other man's woman. He saw to that by shooting her 10 times. Who shoots a woman 10 times? One news station reported the detective read in court Earl's statement that he thought Latrice was coming to hug him. He said he only took out his gun to get a cigarette lighter out of his pocket. He said she grabbed for the gun, twirled it around, and the gun was going off the whole time. He said he was unaware that she was shot until she fell. Well, she was shot in the back of the head, so that was quite a feat. He made a mockery of everything. Hopefully, he would spend the rest of his life in prison reflecting on what he did. Who shoots a person you say you love 10 times? And the sad part is, Latrice's children have to live with those images of her death for the rest of their lives. Latrice's father will remember his daughter's death every Father's Day. This is the outcome of one man's evil actions. The good news to all this, Latrice's son, Justin, completed high school with a 4.0 grade point and has a scholarship to play football. He plans on becoming a physical therapist, which is a dream his mother had. Justin and his four-year-old sister were raised by Justin's sister's dad and stepmom. That was a very nice thing to keep the two of them together. I want to say a little about domestic abuse. To leave that relationship, Latrice ran and hid. Sometimes you can do all the right things and the abuser still finds you and harms or kills you. I don't know that she could have done anything different. His extreme anger that was still present even a year after her death just makes you wonder if he'd been abusive to Latrice. He blew up her estranged husband's phone trying to reach her, getting angrier and angrier, and threatening her. Imagine if he had reached her by phone, he would have harassed and threatened her to no end. Latrice's estranged husband said he told her about the threats. Even if she had a weapon, it sounds like Earl surprised her. What do you think she could have done after hearing about the threats? My sincere condolences go out to Latrice's family, friends, and loved ones. Please like, comment, share, and hit the subscribe button. I'll see you in the next video.